Abby, and today I'm excited to give you a tour of my new office storage. If you remember from our one year home tour, I had just gotten a bunch of random pieces of leftover furniture that we had in our house, and I was using those to kind of hold all of my extra decor items that I had, and it was fine, but I was anxious to get some beautiful and functional storage in here. So right after the new year, we did that. We put in the IKEA pack system, and today I wanna to show you how I organized everything. And if you love organizing as much as I do, make sure you subscribe. We have some great projects coming up that you will not wanna miss. My office has a lot of space, but it didn't have a closet or any built-in storage at all, which made it a little bit difficult to get organized. I thought about a bunch of different ways that we could add some organization systems to this space. We could have put in a closet, but I was worried that it would just be this big block in the middle of the room, and I didn't love that idea. I thought about doing open bookshelves. I even considered putting like kitchen cabinets maybe in this corner, uh, but ultimately I decided I needed vertical storage and it would be great if it had doors that I could shut. Uh, so I ended up finding the IKEA pack system which is actually a wardrobe system, but it's working well in here. I wrote a whole post just about the pack system and how I configured it, so I will link to that in the description below if you wanna learn more about it. Um, but let's take a look and see how we organized inside the cabinets. So a couple weeks before Christmas, I talked about a gift wrap station that I had created, but I was able to relocate all of the items from my gift wrap station into this storage unit, which worked perfectly. So I have my gift wrap in this just plain white trash bin that I already had in our basement. I cleaned it up a little bit. I used my silhouette machine and some adhesive vinyl to create a pretty label for it. And all my gift wrap now sits neatly in this closet. One of my big storage needs in this space was a place to hold all the decor that I'm not using during that season currently around my house. I'm a home decor blogger, so I tend to collect a lot of different decor pieces, and so I was in need of storage for that. I made a really big effort to go through everything as I was organizing this space and get rid of anything that I didn't love or use all the time. I threw away a lot of items that were broken or unusable, and then I gave away a bunch of items that were still in great shape, but just that I didn't use around my house anymore. So any of the items that I still used and loved, I try to find a place for them in this unit. And I decided to separate everything by color so that it would be easy for me to find what I needed. So as you can see, this is the aqua section. I typically use a lot of aqua in our house, but since Christmas just ended, I haven't put it back out yet. So all of my aqua jars and decor pieces are stored at the top of this cabinet. So let's take a look inside the next cabinet. Now this cabinet is the biggest one, so it holds a lot. At the top, I have a rail that is made for the pack system and it holds my big gift bags, as well as some wreaths that I'm not using anywhere in my house right now. So I also have a couple different crates in this bin. This one up here holds candles. I have two at the bottom. One holds little picture frames, the other one holds small notebooks. And I was able to fit those two at the bottom because with this system, the drawers couldn't sit all the way down because of the hinges of the door. So I had that little space under there and to maximize it, I was able to use these crates that I already had. They happened to fit perfectly. So I was trying to use every single inch of my space that I could. To label the crates, I used this, my silhouette machine and some adhesive vinyl. This has made the perfect storage spot for those things as well. I can pull them out and use them. I use them often, so they're nice and convenient here. And then I also have the four drawers, which ended up holding a bunch of items too. So this top drawer holds all of my gift wrapping supplies that were once in my little gift wrap station. I have bows and ribbon, some gift tags and tape, and then I have tissue paper and some little gift bags. They all fit neatly in the drawer. These are scub boxes from Ikea. I also use these in our bedroom to organize our dresser drawers. They're great, they come in a couple different sizes and they were a perfect fit for these packs drawers. So they worked really well. 
I lined all of my drawers with my favorite contact paper. I will link to that below, the favorite one that I use for all the drawers and cabinets in my house. And then to make it even more organized and make it easy to tell what is in each drawer, I use my label maker, which again, I love and will link to, to create a label that just sits on the lip of this drawer. So it's very discreet, but I can still tell what's in here. I use clear tape with black writing and my little maker prints in cursive, so they're even a little bit pretty, which I love. So that's the top drawer. This second drawer is where I keep all of my drawer liner, and I also have another scub box in here that holds my ribbon that I have organized by color. Again, I have little labels on the lip of the drawer so I can easily tell what goes where. This next drawer down holds my party supplies, which again were part of my gift wrapping station before, but they fit neatly in here. So I have streamers and then balloons organized by color, and then I have a couple banners. And then finally, that little accordion file holds cards for any occasion. So anytime I wanna send somebody a card, I already have a collection here. They're separated by the type, so birthdays or anniversaries or thank you notes. They're all in there, so I don't have to make a special trip to the store to get one. This bottom drawer holds textiles, again, with the same scub boxes from Ikea. I have started trying to use pillow covers because I have a pillow obsession. I try to buy just the covers so then I can use the same inserts all the time. And I fold them up using the filing method of folding. I did a video about that if you're interested. I'll link to it in the description. And so they all fit neatly in here. I have the pillow covers organized by color. So then depending on whichever season it is, I can come in here and grab the ones I need. There's also a little bit of space. I have some decorative towels that I use when I'm styling a space or decorating, and those are in this drawer as well. Next, we'll take a look inside the corner cabinet. So I kind of have a black thumb when it comes to plants, so I keep a lot of faux greenery around for my decorating. This cabinet holds a lot of that. Again, I used a plain white trash bin that I already had in our basement. I cleaned it up and it is holding kind of the longer stem greenery and I put an adhesive vinyl label on it again so it's easy to see what goes in there. These shelves above it hold some of my smaller faux plants and flowers. Then on these top shelves, these boxes that I already had from Ikea work perfectly on these shelves. This one has some vase fillers in it. And then at the top, I have one that holds cords and one that holds little camera accessories. All of the little boxes are labeled. I used a piece of washi tape to make it a little bit pretty, and then a clear label with black lettering for my label maker again. This side of the corner cabinet holds a lot of my camera equipment. So I have some lighting and a tripod that I need to access, but I also wanna be able to tuck out of the way when I'm not using it. That's on the bottom shelf. This shelf holds my camera bag and then a microphone I use sometimes. Then the shelves above that hold some picture frames and trays that I'm not currently using anywhere, but that I have a feeling I will be bringing out soon to hang up or put out around our house. Let's take a peek into the final cabinet. This last cabinet holds a bunch more of my decorative items. Again, they're organized by color, so the top has the neutrals and a little bit of blue, then there's white, then these are clear, and some of them have rope on them, and then there's a tiny bit of pink there. So it's really easy to find what I need when I'm redecorating or styling different parts of our house. This is my laminator that I often use when I'm making labels and also tucked in behind it is my paper slicer that I use often, so I have easy access to both of those things. Then all of these drawers have different office and craft supplies, so let's take a peek into them. So again, like my other drawers, I put my favorite drawer liner down, and then I used my label maker to make a little label here so I could easily see what's in each drawer. I used a clear organizer to organize some of my writing tools in this drawer. So I have pens, pencils, and Sharpie markers. And then I have a couple of my office supplies and cute little containers that I was able to tuck in there as well. 
This next drawer has even more office supplies. I will link all of the little organizers that I'm using in the description below. But we have dry erase markers and highlighters, some other office things, and then I have a whole row of washi tape in here as well. This drawer holds all of my sharp items, so a lot of scissors, X-Acto knives, that type of thing. I also have my staplers in here and a little hole punch and some extra staples. These are Ikea bins, and again, I will link to those in the description. This bottom drawer is a lot of craft supplies, so I have Mod Podge, a lot of my little paints and paint brushes, and then some other items that I use for craft projects as well. Then, as with my other drawers, I had room at the bottom, so I tucked in two little clear containers that have lids, and one of them holds some paint chips. The other one is kind of a little kit with photo props that I use when I photograph printables, so anytime I wanna do that, I can just grab the kit out of there and then lay out all my supplies, because they're all right there, ready to go. Again, I use my Silhouette machine and adhesive vinyl to make the labels, and everything is neat and tidy. So that is my new office organization system and I am pretty much in love. So this side of my office is looking pretty good, but the other side of my office still needs some work. And actually, one thing you could help me out with while I'm thinking about it is, one of the biggest problems I'm having is finding out a way to hide my printer. So if you have any ideas of how I could hide my printer so that it still looks pretty but I can still access it to use it, let me know in the comments below. And you can leave any office organization tips you have down in the comments as well.